What's going on everyone? RC84 here like always. Thanks for watching and welcome to the first part of this restore project that I'm working on. This right here my friends is the Tamaya M1025 Hummer or Humvee if you want to put it. I'm going to call it a Hummer. I'm not going to sit there and say M1025 every time. Uh, I'm just going to call it what it is, a Hummer. So this is my restore project bringing this thing back to uh, to life here. And I'm gonna give you guys a close up view. I'm actually using a different camera for this. I've been using my DSR camera to shoot a lot of my uh, videos here in the RC room and uh, out and about, but I I feel like my, my DSR camera is just really not doing the video quality that I'm looking for. And so I decided to go back to a camera that I use back in the day for a lot of my videos, the JVC Everon. And I love the same because the focus is very quick and um, it, it, it definitely puts a lot of detail out there and definitely works a whole lot better. My uh, photography camera is what it is. It's a photography camera. It's not really a video camera. It can shoot video, but oh well. All right, so enough with that. So let's go ahead and take a quick look here. Now I said in the uh, first video is that the tires need to be changed out. Now the tires look pretty good as you can see here. A lot of tread, but look at this. Dry rotted. All of it is nothing but dry rotted. All of this, that's on all four tires, guys. So let's, we'll turn it over here. Dry rotted. And but they look pretty good. But yeah, they're dry rotted. So the this truck's been sitting up for quite some bit. There's that crack right there. See it right there? There's a crack. The missing headlight frame on it, uh, a lot of scuffed up parts on it. So yeah. So let's go ahead and take the top off of here so you guys can see what we're gonna deal with. Alright, so alright, let's see. So here it is. The TAO2 chassis. A lot of dirt and grime. See this guys? Lots of dirt. Uh, a little bit of rust here and there. Uh, the bathtub chassis here, a lot of dirt. There's the 540 series motor, a lot of rusted on it, uh, missing the leads on it as well. Uh, just, yeah guys, <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit of a mess. So, let's go ahead and start this process of tearing it down, looking inside, making sure the gears and uh, the transmission and all that stuff is looking good. Uh, also the bearings as well. As I said, I got the, uh, the motor and some new bearings to go in it so uh we'll take a look at that and see if it needs to be replaced or not so let's get started
the Hummer here to uh, give it a good thorough cleaning. Also look at all the bearings and gears, make sure everything looks good. Uh, see if I need, I might order any parts for anything. So far, everything looks great, guys. The bearings and gears all look great. Look, these look like brand new gears right here, guys. Uh, the bearings are brand new. They're actually uh, super sealed to Maya bearings. That's awesome. I bought a pack, as you see back there, along with a motor uh, to replace. And now I know that the bearings are good, the gears are good, uh, so I really don't have to replace any parts. Now, I've been, uh, been doing a good thorough cleaning, and I'll show you how I've been cleaning here. Just out of a five gallon bucket with some mild detergent to kind of loosen up a lot of that. Uh, filth there and stuff like that. Let's let's see if I can zoom it down there. Zoom. Look at that. Ugh. Filth. Dirt. Grime. And you're probably saying, well, why are you cleaning it up for? Because uh, as soon as you take it out there on the trail, you're just going to get it dirty. And that is true, guys. It is going to get dirty. But what I want to do, I actually want to uh, paint the chassis and all when I paint the body shell. So uh, I wanted to paint all these parts and uh, so I needed to get a good thorough cleaning done to it so it can be able to uh, paint. So there's the original motor guys. Ah, there's the gears, the transmission. So yeah. Ah, hello. Hello. A little more parts there. So yeah. So the project's come pretty, uh, coming together pretty well. Uh, so hopefully I'll have this thing done here very soon. Well, guys, thanks for watching, and like always, thanks for watching.